Hi Pisces, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be your own reading today, Pisces. And remember, please, that this uh, could be somebody else's energy, definitely, in the reading, right? And I feel like you, uh, right now, you could be in an environment with somebody, possibly, who is, like, tricking you, or you feel tricked, right here in the environment, uh, or this is about deception for some. Like, there's some type of, you know, it depends here, uh, but... Not for all, but there's. It looks like there's the false halos in the in the environment for you. I feel like you're dealing with this king here. Mm -hmm. This person <clears throat> might have a lot of ego or power, possibly. I feel like you are like grieving this person, and uh, you might feel really stuck. Like <clears throat> I don't know what to do. It's possible here that you feel like your power maybe has been taken. We see the gilded cage, and the woman is in the cage, and the man is standing outside. He has the key to the cage, and it's, you know, it's almost like she can be freed. Uh, maybe if she does everything he wants, mm -hmm, because he's outside with the key, and she's sad inside the cage. Uh, or somebody could have felt really stuck here. We have the mother here, and this is, uh, they call this called uh, card, I believe it's caring. But this is somebody who is kind of in grief. Let's see. It can be. Let's see what it says here about uh, about that. And that card is. Let's see what it says about that card. This is kind of what's going on uh, at the root of the matter. This is caring, sympathy, watching over somebody. Maybe you have a child uh, with somebody here. Mm -hmm. And this can be uh, caring, grief, the problem, helper syndrome. You have forgotten there's somebody dependent on your care. So you might have a baby. You you could be in grief and you have a child. And like you're kind of forgetting about your child here possibly. For some. I mean not for everybody of course. We have the conflict here. The loving woman. So uh, you look like you are the loving woman here. For this king. Uh, and then we have she who remains. Somebody like has some powerful devotion here. possible you're leaving somebody here or you're dealing with grief over somebody leaving there's deception here and the false halo it's like somebody needs to like like kind of maybe tell the truth here about something with the false halo mm -hmm. in the environment the dark angel is tricking you of course he has clothed himself in a wonderful coat of lights and proclaimed your work it's, yeah, your guru and the new relationship to be noble, holy, and God-fearing. Wow. But he is only dangling a carrot in front of you now so that you will trot along in his direction. You therefore don't realize the eagerness to do good has left you at his mercy. So I feel like you, uh, you might know this here, that somebody's kind of tricking you here. Somebody here wants to rescue somebody here. Somebody has like, uh, this card here is a romantic relationship. This is the root. So either you want to like return to somebody and kind of rescue somebody or you're dealing uh, with grief because your person is doing this. I feel like you know that it could be your person here. It could be yeah, either. We have this card of fear over here where this is your concern. This is somebody who runs from, uh, runs from something that may have already died or something that is like very uh, troublesome, could be sad, but they don't know where they're going to. Like, you could be thinking, I'm dealing with this, this is really hard, but I maybe I have to run to the unknown. Like, maybe to be alone. It depends. And this could be your person doing this. This is, we also have a, the card of Primavera. This is the, the spring. This is like somebody who begins something. It doesn't have to be in spring. It could be now. Somebody's launching something or starting something new. Or actualizing a dream, like making it real. In the past, I feel like you were trying to learn about this person or about this situation. We have the master and the disciple. You could have learned something here about this person in the past. I feel like you did. I feel like you are trying to go from light, from dark to light here. That's what uh, is on your mind here. Right here, this is uh, on one side is the darkness and the moon, and the mystery, and here is the sun here on the right side. So this is, you know, you going from darkness to light. 
We have something here about belief systems too. Uh, you might have believed in this person in the past and now you are thinking to yourself, maybe I was following a cult, kind of. Maybe I was just being misled. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it says. The matter and the spirit. This is new age. This is in the near future. It could be buying your happiness, the sect. You're about to buy important insights or sell them. This means the spiritual property which you carry around does not really belong to you. It has not yet begun the journey through the soul. What you possess is still a piece of merchandise you like to use as decoration for the ego. So this is like kind of a fake cult, right? These people are living fake. They're, I mean, they're in this cult and, you know, uh, they're all bald-headed. And they're they're like praying to the to the guy who has the long hair. Like, they're all doing what he wants, and here he is still having his beautiful hair, and they're all bald, you know, like reaching up to him. Uh, yeah, and they, he's like the God here. I feel like you are finding out that you kind of gave up your power or that you kind of went along with something, with somebody. Like you went along with a union or something that you might have known somebody was kind of like maybe sneaky. You might have went along with a union that you like... You stayed in for money or some type of like societal belief or maybe you just thought, well, I'm married to this person, so kind of like that, I, I should stay. There's some type of like kind of false belief here with this, uh, the cult. Yeah, it's called matter and spirit. I call it the fake cult <laughs> because they're all fake and they, they, they're trying to have people in, in one right now. Yeah, that's, that's what they're trying to do. I don't mean your person. This is just said. Uh, these are just people who, who blindly believe. Oh, my friends in that cult. I'll be in it. My friend believes these people. I should believe them. The neighbor believes it. I went to church and they were talking about it. This is about somebody who like, uh, I can't think for themselves. They have just followed here, and it's kind of like following with, uh, like kind of. Uh, blind faith, kind of. That's what these people are doing. These people in this cult, they have all these restrictions. All these restrictions here. They can't have sex with their person. They sleep alone without their person for two months. Uh, they see their person only on Saturday. I mean, it's all this bullshit to, you know, make people think it's a better life. That's what this is all about. Is that's what cults are. Make think people think that they have, they're going to have a better life. That things are going to be better for them. If you only believe in this. Yeah, you went along with this person. That's what it is. You could be, either you are, you like you're grieving that you need to let them go, Pisces, or you're grieving because, uh, because you maybe you love somebody else. But whoever, even if you're grieving, uh, even if you're leaving or being left behind, at the same time, there's some type of, like, somebody believed in something that wasn't, like, solid. You could be finding that out now, though. You could be finding out, oh, well, is, for some, this person has been lying to me, kind of. Because in the past, we have the master and the disciple, like you were trying to learn here. This is the master and the teacher, or the student and the teacher, rather. So, in the past, so either that, or you stayed in a relationship that, kind of based on false beliefs or something. Or you stayed where there was trickery. Either one. So we have this conflict and loving woman. I think I said that. But we have clear your aura and grace. So this per this is all about grace and honor. The woman is here in front of the tree of life. She's honoring the birds. And, you know, uh, she's honoring the tree and nature itself. And all the protection that nature brings. We know that. That's why you're supposed to go outside and get sunshine. You're supposed to step on the earth, although, you know, they'll tell you to stay in because uh, there is healing outside. There's vitamin D, etc. So, <laughs> you know, that's kind of veering off the path there, right? But, you know, this is about grace and honor, but you, I feel like you're trying to clear your, your aura. You're either trying to bring, uh, like, honor to somebody you want to go to. Or you are thinking your person is like bringing honor to somebody else. 
And that's why there's trickery in the environment. You want this king, Pisces, you do. Uh, let's get a card on it. Let's just get a tarot card here. This is the person that you desire, right? And there could be, like, problems here with ego and power and maybe status. Let's see what else we have. The, the high priestess. And we have the eight of wands. So you still want this person and you want change, it looks like. You could be hoping for change, right? This can be your desire. You could be hoping for favorable change. Let's get a card on your environment where there seems to be trickery. And uh, it could be... <clears throat> Sometimes this is self-imposed trickery where we kind of believe in this blind faith over here with this cult. Yeah, the two of swords. This is in your, like you don't know what to do here. I feel like you feel like either you are going towards somebody you really want and you kind of feel like this is all I can do. I have to go there or your person is going there. But you look like you're grieving this. So, you know, it depends what side. I know somebody who wants to go be in another situation and they are like grieving, leaving somebody. So it's either one. Let's see what else we have in your concern. The Ten of Cups and the the Knight of Pentacles. So this is you, Pisces. And you, uh, you know, I feel like this is your person, probably this uh, Knight of Pentacles here. You could be in a family dynamic with them with the Ten of Cups. And your concern is like, I feel like you're either leaving them and as I said, you are either, I feel like you're either being compassionate, but I feel like you are grieving somebody here. This could be a vice versa reading where it is them and you're trying to have compassion and you just feel like you have to go because there's somebody else you love, the loving woman right here. Let's see what's on your mind here. Let's see what we have. The, uh, the emperor and the full card reversed. You could be thinking somebody's leaving or you're trying to gain your courage to go yourself. You might feel somebody is focusing or planning. Let's see what else we have. And we have the two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just feel like you, you either, you could feel misled by this person. Like I just followed along and kind of like followed the rules with this person, maybe rules of marriage. But I also feel like there is there is some type of somebody is like <clears throat> gaining their own like belief system now. Somebody's like breaking the rules here, which I feel like is kind of an ending. Yeah. Let's get one last card. And this is the, the master, I believe. And he has the six of swords reversed and the knight of cups. So... This is somebody who lives in a test tube that's trying to, like, put their life in this bottle. Somebody who feels really stuck. And here's the, the master, and he's, like, you know, boiling uh, the, 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 the body who is in a test tube. It kind of looks like sci-fi stuff, kind of, because, you know, uh, what they have available now, they can do anything they want to you. Right? They can with the AI. If you think that that is, like, it, and some people wouldn't understand that because... <clears throat> they're not telling us all the AI that is really available to them. <clears throat> it's anything. It's everything. It's, uh, yeah. So let's get back to this, though. We have the Six of Swords reversed and the Knight of Cups. I feel like you feel really, you feel really stuck, either because you want to go or because you feel stuck with grief. Like, this person is like, uh, like you feel like you like you can't break out of this test tube with this person. I feel like you want change, but I don't. I feel like this change is only going to come if you like probably walk away, or if this person walks away. But there's some type of ending, and there's some type of learning here. There's a major learning lesson in this reading. I feel like uh, you might have felt like you kind of like went along with them and believed them. Yeah, let's see what you might have learned in the past. Let's see what we have. And we have judgment. Let's see what this is. And we have the Queen of Cups. So here you are, uh, Pisces, right? And the Queen of Cups, judgment. So in the past, you could have learned that this person was making a decision. I feel like somebody was trying to, uh, and this is you probably, trying to make a decision. This could be about a rebirth with somebody. 
It's a possibility here. But this card here, you know, in the past, uh, this could be the recent past, it could be right now, somebody was making a decision here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's get another card. And the Four of Cups reversed. This is somebody who wants to, like, start something or be available to somebody. In the past, somebody made this decision. I feel like you feel like if you have made the decision, you feel like it's the only one I can make. Like, I have to go rescue this person, or this is your person doing this, and you kind of feel like your hands are really tight. Somebody, I feel like there's grief here, though. That's what this card is. Or you are, you have a child here, and this relationship or marriage is so, like, consuming. Maybe the grief, but even if it's not grief, this is so consuming, you might have, like, kind of maybe, you know, forgetting that the, the child is there, kind of, you know, like your child, maybe. Yeah, this is somebody who kind of is consumed. It could be by their grief, and it's hard for them to, like, Focus on, you know, the baby or just something like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that we're not saying somebody is, uh, you know, neglecting their child and, uh, oh, God, breaking news. Oh, no, nothing like that. But, like, you could be maybe forgetting in your heart a little bit, you know, that, that your child is there a little bit. Something like that, yeah. So we're going to end this reading. Good luck to you guys. <clears throat> Whatever side you guys are on, uh... This is going to end. This is uh, this in this reading. There's a very, there's a very in between feeling. So what I mean by that is, however this turns out, it's time to transition. It's almost time for you to like jump across this river here. Yeah, and that's what he needs to do here. Yeah, you might have to leave this Knight of Pentacles behind. It depends here. Yeah, we can end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.